Whether we want to admit this or not, this is our black plague. There's 25 million people that suffer from this illness. We have an epidemic. It's a national crisis that untreated addiction cost our economy over $550 billion last year. It is disgraceful that we have done so little about it thus far. Once you're an addict, you're that thing that they have to hide. So many people think of addicts as homeless people living under bridges. The media is difficult for us to battle against because the negative news about addiction is dramatic. You know what we in the media do? We wink, wink it. We snoop dog it. Hey, oh yeah, they're stoned, that's fine. If everyone thinks of alcoholism and addiction as a negative thing, no one's gonna wanna go get help. As a culture, we are still very rooted in just say no. Drugs are menacing our society. We we're going to try to incarcerate our way out of the addiction problem. Our jails are full of addicts and alcoholics. They're all pulled up in one spot. When you're caught, you will do time. Recovery is what you need, not prison. Hello? Alcoholism has too long been a taboo subject. The shame and secrecy are just as deadly as the disease itself. Our numbers are unbelievably strong, but yet we have no voice. We know about every issue out there, but people don't know how important the issue of recovery is. As a person in long-term recovery from an illness that has no cure, but an illness that has a solution. If we could ever tap those 20 million people in long-term recovery, you change this overnight. Now it's my turn to teach you that recovery works. History's on our side. History will show one day who and what we are. So I say we make history. Voices are out there. We have to find and open the hearts. And I think those hearts want to be open. I refuse to feel ashamed of who I am. I most certainly will not be embarrassed that I'm an addict. I'm gonna tell whoever I damn well want to. There's a lot of us. Everyone knows somebody.